Greetings to everyone joining in today. We're gathered for a moment that has been destined by God. If you find yourself reading these words, it's not by chance, nor is it a mere coincidence. Rather, it is a divine orchestration. The Almighty has directed you here because there's a message meant specifically for you, and your heart is ready to receive it. Every day, I offer a simple prayer, entrusting this ministry and its messages to the hands of God. I pray that those in need, those whose hearts are hungry for His Word, will be led here. And this is why, if you're reading this, it is because you are meant to. It's because there's a message, fresh from God's heart, meant for you today. This morning, as I was seated right here, God whispered something into my spirit. It's an insight that I believe is destined for some of you today. It's about transformation and renewal. Often we expect God to do things we've never seen before, things so new that they're beyond our comprehension, as if every move from Him will completely rewrite our stories. And yes, He does sometimes say, Behold, I shall do a new thing. However, God's love and power are not just in creating the new, but in rejuvenating the old. Sometimes He doesn't replace, but instead, He restores. This restoration is so profound that it often feels like you're seeing it for the first time. It's akin to experiencing a fresh start, like receiving a long-awaited upgrade in life. Reflect upon Jesus' love and sacrifice for humanity. Though there was a time when the world faced God's wrath during Noah's era, God chose not to annihilate humanity. Instead, He vowed never to tread that path again. Through Jesus, he sought to renew and restore us, signifying His boundless love and grace. Today, God conveyed a powerful message. All that you've lost is en route back to you. Though you might not see or feel it now, the universe is shifting, aligning things in your favor. Recall the story of Job. Despite the immense trials he faced, God did not only restore what Job had lost, but He blessed him with even more. The nature of God's ways is that of enhancement and abundance. Every time He touches something in your life, He elevates it. There are countless stories of those who have made sacrifices for God, be it relationships, friendships, or even career opportunities. In hindsight, these sacrifices paved the way for greater blessings. I've had moments in my own life when I had to let go of certain friendships, to walk a path closer to God, now I realize that it was among the best decisions I've ever made. Many of you might resonate with this, having given up various aspects of your life for a higher purpose. The beauty of God's work is evident in how He always restores and often multiplies what we sacrificed for His sake. Take a moment today to look back on your life's journey. Recognize the ways God has acted, turning setbacks into setups, losses into gains, and sorrows into joys. As we dive deeper into God's Word, remember His promise. All that you've lost is finding its way back to you, transformed, enhanced, and filled with His blessings. Dive deep into the recent teachings if you haven't already. They are not mere words, but guiding stars, urging you to align your spirit, to embrace the blessings that stand at your door, waiting to flood into your life. For the God we serve doesn't merely ask for sacrifices without promising restoration. Whenever you part with something for His sake, remember, God will not just return it, but He'll enhance it. And if by His wisdom that exact thing isn't returned, know that He provides what you truly need, not merely what you desired. There are countless souls among us who have forsaken possessions and relationships for the glory of God, and He has seen each sacrifice, his promise is unyielding. What was once lost will be returned, amplified, and ennobled. Let's turn to Mark, specifically chapter 10, verses 27 through 31. As Jesus spoke, a profound truth was revealed. With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Reflect on that for a moment. Those dreams, aspirations, and efforts that crumbled in the past weren't due to your lack of trying, but perhaps because they lacked God's touch, His divine intervention. Where man sees barriers, God sees gateways. As His blessings return to your life, they will be imbued with His supernatural prowess, making the once impossible possible. 
Have you ever found yourself offering up parts of your life to God? Maybe a challenging relationship, an uncertain career move, or a personal aspiration. It might have felt like letting go of a cherished dream, but in that surrender, you declare, with man, this is impossible, but with God, everything changes. And when God steps in, what was once broken will be mended. Every loss will find its echo in a gain, and every sacrifice will witness a resurrection. Peter, reflecting the thoughts of many, queried, We've given up everything for you. What will we get in return? Jesus, in his infinite wisdom, responded, Anyone who sacrifices for my sake and for the sake of the good news will receive a hundredfold in return. What does a hundredfold signify? It's not a mere restoration. It's a magnification. It's God's promise of the best possible outcome. He doesn't just patch things up. He elevates them. And this isn't about blessings we receive after our earthly journey ends. Jesus is clear. You will receive it now, in this lifetime. Too often, people are swayed into thinking that God's true rewards await in the afterlife. But His promise echoes that you shall witness His magnificence in your earthly life. The family you may have forsaken will be replaced with bonds stronger than blood. Lost possessions will be replaced with riches beyond measure. To drive home the significance of God's promise, Jesus shared a profound truth. Many who are first now will be last then, and many who are last now will be first then. It's a reminder to remain humble, to offer our endeavors to God, and to trust that in His divine timeline, everything happens for a grand reason. The ultimate path to abundance, peace and prosperity is to let go, trust in His plan, and be ready to receive His boundless blessings. In moments of quiet introspection, many of you may find yourselves reflecting upon the winding journey of life. Remember those dreams that once burned bright, only to be overshadowed by unforeseen challenges, moments where life's adversities seemed insurmountable and despairing. Yet in those very moments, it's essential to recall an unwavering truth. God promises restoration. Peering into your past, there may be instances, both distant and recent, where you've witnessed God's grace in returning what was once lost. Perhaps a long-lost passion, a cherished relationship, or an ambition you thought had faded. It's akin to life coming full circle, leading you back to places and emotions you once inhabited. Remember those instances when you toiled, powered by sheer will, attempting to mold your destiny. Yet, inexplicably, certain endeavors failed. Relationships didn't blossom, professional aspirations faltered, dreams of family remained elusive, and at times, you found yourself without a home or the means to secure one. Despite such setbacks, today marks a moment of divine reclamation. You see, things might not unfurl in the manner we envisioned initially, but when God orchestrates events, it's with an unmatched precision and benevolence. When He intervenes, the result is not just recovery, it's an elevation. The difference is palpable. God's presence brings a transformative energy, ushering in blessings that surpass our wildest hopes. Feel that assurance deep within and let it resonate. Proclaim it with an Amen in the comments, not just in hushed whispers, but loudly, declaring your faith and acceptance. Recognize the authority God has bestowed upon you and assert that this restoration, this divine favor, is not a distant dream, but a present reality for you and your lineage. Today, let us collectively lift our voices in gratitude and recognition. Let us pray. Almighty Lord, we stand united in your radiant presence, ever thankful for the countless ways your love permeates our lives. We are constantly reminded of the miracles that manifest when our unwavering faith meets your boundless grace. Guided by your word, we understand the infinite possibilities that lie ahead, knowing they will far surpass our earthly comprehension. Lord, we remain eternally grateful for your promises, the bounty that's journeying toward us, ensuring that we and future generations bask in your generosity. Your word, Lord, remains the beacon in our lives, illuminating truth and dispelling doubt. 
May we always elevate your teachings, embracing them as the ultimate testament to truth. In the name of Jesus, we offer our heartfelt gratitude, certain that your wisdom and love guide us. Amen. To those who find these words echoing the sentiments of their hearts, share your affirmations. It's a testament to the power of shared faith, a beacon for others navigating their journeys. Every testimony, every shard of hope, stands as an emblem of God's promises actualized. Furthermore, I urge you to embrace the principle of sowing and reaping. Once, I too was unfamiliar with the profound impact of seeding into fertile grounds, of investing in beliefs and dreams. Yet when we plant with conviction, it's akin to dialing directly into God's infinite frequency, signaling our unshaken faith. Your investment, be it in faith, action or resources, isn't merely a gesture, it's an embodiment of your trust in His grand design. For in this divine dance of life, our faith is both our compass and our anchor. In life, we often find ourselves at a crossroads questioning our faith, our beliefs, and the very essence of our existence. A deep truth remains undeniable, the lessons God teaches us through the act of giving, planting, and harvesting. A truth rooted deep within the Holy Scriptures, reflect on this. Planting a seed, physically or metaphorically, signifies a leap of faith. But why would one doubt its potency? To doubt the growth from a seed is to question God's commitment to us. After all, that is it not through His Word that we learn the undeniable power of our actions and their consequent reactions? Let's delve into the Scriptures. Think of my words as a guide, inviting you into the boundless wisdom that awaits within the sacred texts. First, venture into Malachi chapter 3, verses 10 through 11. These lines vividly illustrate God's promise to fend off forces that threaten our growth, ensuring that our seeds, our hard work and dedication are never in vain. It is the manifestation of His constant watch over us, especially when we consistently show our commitment to Him. Next, journey through 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6. An echo of a universal truth, it says, Given, and it shall be given unto you with good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. This isn't merely about materialistic returns. It's a testament to the boundless, overflowing grace of God when we open our hearts generously. Now imagine the vastness of the earth. An awe-inspiring vision, isn't it? Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 solidifies this sentiment. It promises that as long as the earth endures, the cycles of sowing and reaping will persist. A perpetual harvest awaits those who believe. Can you feel that divine energy? That's God reminding us of the perpetual circle of life that we're all a part of. The enemy of faith is doubt. Doubt clouds our vision, obscuring the limitless possibilities God has laid out for us. So the next time you're on the verge of planting a seed, be it tangible or metaphorical, and doubt creeps in, stand firm in your faith. Only with unwavering belief can we truly experience the multiplicative blessings that God has in store for us. The more we give, the more we are blessed. It's a divine transaction. Those who offer bountifully are bound to experience abundance, while those who give meagerly receive in limited measure. To encapsulate this concept, you truly receive in the measure you give. This isn't just about materialistic exchanges. It's about love, kindness, faith, and trust. When you pour out these virtues generously, you'll find them returning to you in waves, more immense and powerful than you ever imagined. In this life, as you sow your seeds, remember the scriptures, the promises, and the eternal principles. Let God's word be the wind beneath your wings, guiding you towards a future filled with faith, hope, and abundance. Like the video and type Amen if you believe in the Lord. Please support our ministry by clicking the thanks button and please consider joining us as a cherished member. Your generosity uplifts our mission. God bless you.